ESPN's documentary on Alex Smith's recovery from his gruesome leg injury just concluded. Here are five takeaways from Project 11, 1. He vividly remembers the day of his injury. Smith remembers the moments that led up the injury that changed his life. He remembers the play and making a protection adjustment. And then Texans players Kareem Jackson and J.J. Watt converged on Smith shortly after the ball was snapped, and as he was brought to the ground, his leg buckled and broke. Immediately, I remember thinking, the season's over, Smith said. X-rays revealed that he had a fracture that started at his tibia and ended at his knee. There was bone protruding from skin, meaning he had to be sent to the operating room immediately. Smith had two plates and multiple screws placed in his tibia and a third plate placed in his fibula. Doctors were ecstatic with the results of the surgery, but Smith's injury was about to take a dramatic turn point too. His infection started slowly, then got progressively worse. Smith's injury was gruesome, his leg was torqued, according to orthopedic surgeon Dr. Steve Malexada. But it didn't initially appear to be life-threatening. The next couple of days after the injury were filled with Smith walking around the hospital on crutches. He had a slight fever, but that was normal. The fever lingered, though, and then it spiked, forcing the doctors to perform blood cultures. Still, everything looked fine. But then his fever went through the roof, according to his wife, Elizabeth Smith, and his blood pressure was dropping quickly. Alex is not Alex anymore, she recalled. Smith's blood cultures came back positive, meaning he had bacteria in his bloodstream. The doctors unwrapped his leg to find his skin black and covered with large blisters. They rushed him back to the operating room to reopen his injury, and then his mother, Pam Smith, heard haunting words from the surgeons. We're in life-saving mode now and leg-saving mode, but it's in that order, 3. Flesh-eating bacteria in his leg that threatened his life. There were four different types of bacteria in Smith's leg, two were fairly common while two were not, but none of them were regular bacteria, Malexada said. Malexada is still not sure how the bacteria got into Smith's leg, but they were causing the black spots. It was dead skin and muscle tissue caused by necrotizing fasciitis, otherwise known as flesh-eating disease. The disease acts quickly, so the surgeons had to act accordingly. What's more, the bacteria was moving up his leg. The focus went from simply saving Smith's leg to saving his life, and doctors were uncertain if they could control the infection. If we can't, then what do we do? Asked head team physician Dr. Robin West. The process took days. It took eight debridements, which is the removal of damaged tissue from the body, to finally get the infection under control, but it came at a cost, much of the muscle on Smith's leg was gone.